Hey everybody, uh, for the rest of this week, uh, we are going to be working on predicting weather. Now to do this, I want to review a few things that we have learned in previous lessons, previous videos. These puppies right here, the six tools of a weatherman. You've got the, the wind vane, the anemometer, the barometer, and the thermometer um, are the four that are used specifically for predicting weather. Now you've got there the rain gauge, which helps uh, report on the weather, and the ruler, which helps measure the depth of the snow, which is again reporting on the weather, but not necessarily predicting it. So I'm going to cover these two right here with another important tool in predicting your eyes, being able to look outside and see. Um, that's going to specifically be important for the cloud coverage and what types of clouds they are. So let's just review what each of these tools does and why that is important for predicting the weather. The first one there was the wind vane. Now, if you remember, that measures the wind direction. Uh, this is important because winds that are coming from the south, so, so southern, down by southern Utah, you know, the further south you get, the warmer it gets. So winds that are coming from that direction are going to be warmer temperatures just plain and simple. If the winds are coming from up toward Canada, those winds coming down are going to be colder. Winds coming from the direction of the equator are going to be warmer because the temperatures get warmer as you get closer to the equator. So the wind vane measuring wind direction, and this is important because the winds from the south will be warmer where the winds from the north will be cooler. This is the anemometer, which measures wind speed. Uh, the exact speed isn't so much as important for predicting the weather as it is to know that windier days will often mean a change in the weather. Because that you can imagine that whatever the weather is, as the wind's blowing that in, uh, it's just going to blow out whatever's there and bring in something different. So a windier day will often be blowing in a different type of weather than you are currently experiencing. The barometer is measuring the air pressure. This is probably the single most important for predicting the weather because the barometer and the air pressure will tell us, like the raising and lowering of the air pressure, a drop in air pressure commonly means that a storm is coming. So you've got heavier air sitting on you. That's going to be bringing the storms down in. So drop in air pressure will commonly mean that a storm is coming. And then a thermometer. The thermometer is important for uh, determining what type of precipitation it's going to be. If you've determined there's a storm coming, is it going to be a snowstorm, a sleet storm, a rainstorm? And all of that is determined by what the temperature is outside. If it's below 32 degrees, it's probably going to be a snowstorm because the water is going to have frozen. Uh, if it's around 32 degrees, that means it'll kind of be frozen. Uh, that means you're going to be getting sleet, which is kind of that mixture of rain and snow, kind of like slush falling from the sky. And then above 32 degrees is just going to be your typical rainstorm. So the thermometer is important to tell us what type of precipitation will be coming. Okay, and then the last one, your eyes. Your eyes are important because those clouds are going to determine certain types of weather. If there are clouds in the sky, which there have to be for there to be a storm, there has to be clouds in the sky for a storm. If there's not, there's going to be no rain falling. Um, stratus clouds okay, are going to mean drizzle or flurries. So the stratus clouds are the ones that are kind of like, you know, across the sky, blanket almost. Um, those are going to mean either a drizzle or flurry. So they're probably going to mean that there's going to be some kind of storm. A cumulonimbus cloud, or the just gigantic, gray, puffy, mean-looking clouds. And those ones are usually going to bring a thunderstorm. Cirrus clouds, so just kind of the light and fluffy, feathery ones in the sky, mean that you're going to have pretty nice weather, or possibly that the weather's changing, because that could mean that there's clouds starting to build to bring in a storm. Uh, or clouds that were there are kind of fading away. But the cirrus clouds are going to mean you're going to have some kind of fair weather. And then the cumulus clouds, the big puffy ones, uh, look like cotton balls in the sky are just going to mean a fair weather. 
So we're going to take each of those rules and each day we're going to go and try and, and take a look at what the barometer reading is and everything and figure out what the, uh, what the weather's going to be like. Okay. To do that, we're going to go to this website here, which I will have linked below uh, on my web page. So we're going to click on this and it's going to bring us to a website, maybe. Oh, I didn't hyperlink it. Uh, watch this. I'll do that really quick. In the midst of this video, we're going to link to there. Okay, now I can click on it. And that's going to bring up a website, brought it over on my other screen, sit over, that looks like this. Okay? It's loading. It's trying. So. Hmm. More. There we go. It wasn't stretched out far enough. So this website will give us all of that information from that previous page. Okay, or that, that you know that we need to predict. And we've got the air pressure right here. Um, you've got wind coming from the north at eight miles per hour. So coming from the north tells us that it's going to be a colder wind. Um, another important thing is humidity. Humidity is how much water is in the air. You're going to have to have a higher percentage hum of humidity if you're going to have precipitation. Uh, you're also going to have cloud cover. Now cloud cover right now is 100%. I'm recording this video on Thursday, March 26th, uh, and it did snow like six, six inches overnight. Uh, so those are the main things you're going to need to know. The current temperature, the wind, humidity, cloud cover, and the air pressure. Now we're going to take that information back to here. Now I've copied and pasted that into here so you can see. You're going to be filling out, I'm going to move me right into the middle here. You're going to be filling out a chart that looks like this. Now if you don't have a printer and you can't print these charts, then you can just take it in a notebook. But these are the basic things that I want you to have. Okay, so the first thing we're going to record is the date. So if I were doing this for today, today is 326. Uh, and let's see, I don't want that underlined and I don't really want it blue. I don't know why, I just don't. So today is 326. Now all of the rest of this information I need is right here. I'm going to take 326 and I'm going to put it down here and it, temperature is 34 degrees. Now if I'm writing, I can just put that little circle. Um, now the wind, remember, was 8 miles per hour from the north. I want to record both of those. So 8 miles per hour from north. Because the north tells us that it's bringing in those colder temperatures. Humidity, 75%. The air pressure, 29.82. Now this is like inches per pound pressure something or other. Don't worry about the, the unit necessarily so much as the number. Um, so our air pressure is 29.82. Now that is fairly low. Generally you'll see a reading between 28 and 32. So that 29.82 is pretty low. And then our cloud coverage is 100%. So based on that and what we know, uh, we're going to predict yes or no, there's going to be a storm tomorrow. So my thought is, because I've still got cloud coverage, my air pressure is pretty low, the humidity is still pretty high, although I do have some wind, so that wind might be that it's going to change. Now, I could look online and see what it says, but that's not as much fun. So I'm going to say, yes, I think there's going to be a storm, and I think that because I've got lots of rules there I could choose from, I could put the clouds, I could put the 
air pressure. I could put the humidity. Okay, any of those things could be reasons that there might be a storm tomorrow, and I'm using those to help make my guess. So your job is going to be to do this for the remainder of this week. Um, that could be four days, that could be five days, depending on if you're watching this video on Monday or Tuesday. Okay, so you're going to observe and predict the weather for this week long, recording all of this data <clears throat> and then predicting yes or no for a storm tomorrow, and then why? Is it the clouds? Is it the air pressure? Is it the humidity? Is it the wind? Uh, what do you think? Uh, as always, if you've got any questions on any of this, feel free to hit me up, rewatch the video, uh, and make sure you observe at least, observe and predict at least four days uh, for this assignment. Uh, good luck!